All right, people, we are back. And today is going to be a very interesting and fun vlog. So real quick, the people that saw my live stream, you guys know I had someone uh, totally bashing me with false, false information about me, which um, I had someone, uh, Logan from IDR, find out that this guy is actually, what the exact same thing he was saying about me, has said it to multiple of other uh, breeders and companies. So it's definitely some guy just spamming everyone, which totally sucks, but it's kind of funny. I mean, it is. if it makes him feel better, hey, that's what it is. So I'm just, I was gonna show you guys and talk about it a lot, but it's not a big deal, so I'm doing just totally forget about that. But another thing, um, I got my mic, my brand new mic back. So I sent it in, they sent me back a new one, which I'm totally happy about, because I love this mic. I mean, it could literally pick up Tina or anyone breathing. Especially want to spy on them or anything like that. Catch her, you know, cheating on me. Woohoo! <laughs> She'll be done just fine with that. But um, on another <laughs> on another note, real quick, um, since you guys punked the hell out of me with my gecko, because he was in my room, he's now here. And we had just got him some new leaves and stuff, so we're gonna do a couple more things that you guys totally told me to do, so you guys know. I did listen to you guys' advice and I agree with you guys, so he's definitely getting hooked up. Another thing that I wanted to show you guys that I didn't show you guys last time is this little station. I am super happy about it, man. I didn't have this before, so I would have to go charge them everywhere, but um, I got my G7X right here. I got my uh, my uh, Rebel DS, uh, DSL2, whatever it's called, and my Ken 80 d And I have extra batteries for all of them down here, so. I won't be losing battery power anymore and everything is there just to hook it up. So today I am going to ultrasound three females that have been wrapping around their bowls and I'm going to put my males to them. So I'm definitely going to show you guys and take you guys with me so you guys can check it out. All right guys, stay tuned. Before I get up here, um, let me show you guys the rattlesnake. Look at him hanging out on the cooler side. Looking freaking cool. The turtles. And handsome. The coolest freaking dragon in the world. Let's check out the retics. Hi, beautiful orange retic. Hi, beautiful orange retic. Look at that, man. So, these three females right here are going to be getting ultrasound. So first, we have, let's see if you can come out here a little. The yellow belly, huge, huge yellow belly. Then we have, oh, she's a little stuck here. A really fire, female, that's humongous. And we have the butter, that is super mean. So, let me get this set up with the ultrasound here. Get the camera going. And let's see what we got, and let's throw some mail. So I know you guys are probably wondering right now, what happened to the purple shirt? Well, it gets really, really hot in here. And unless you guys want to see some, like, wet armpit um, spots, I had to change it to a, a dry fit one. So, let me set this up real quick, and then I'll get up there, and we'll start getting all the females. All right, we have this thing set up already, so let's start off with the yellow belly and wish me luck doing this on my own. I have to get used to it somehow, right? Usually the turtles here are helping me. And let's start off with this one. Mm. 
Okay. So I'm gonna show you guys real quick the small follicles that I'm finding on here, and then we'll go ahead and measure them. So I don't know if the camera will be able to pick it up, but I'll show you guys right now. Let's measure that one and see where it's at. Remember, none of these girls have had any males with them, so that's why I want to get them started. And they're at 6.6 .6 millimeters right now. So hopefully I throw a male in there and stimulates, stimulates them a little and we get some growth in them in about a month. So I will definitely be checking up on her in a few. So let me clean this girl up and let's start so with this. So this girl right here, she's a, she's a feisty one. So wish me luck on this one. Here for the fire, you guys will be able to see them all lined up on the top. Let's get a better, better. Right there. Let's measure these out. I think they're all going to be around the same. <clears throat> but again, they haven't had no males, so we'll see. All right, this one actually has them bigger. This one's at 9.1 millimeters. So she's definitely gonna get a male with her to die tonight. And hopefully we get some cool stuff from her. She's a big girl. All right, one more to go. All right, so next right here we have a butter. She's the heaviest female that I have. And let's hope we can get some stuff on her. Let's see. Dude, this ultrasound so sweet. Oh yeah. And right off the bat. Just wanna get a nice little freeze frame real quick. Right there. All right, 7.6 millimeters on this girl. I'm gonna um, play with them a little bit more because I think sometimes, I mean, if I hold them a different way, I could find bigger ones. So let me see, like right there. Oop, there are some good ones right there. Let's check those bad boys out. <clears throat> Yeah, 8.2. Cool. All right. So, let's get this girl cleaned up. And... All right. So now what I'm going to do is get all their info and put on a little card. Just so I can see uh, the beginning of their um, follicles, the size that they are. And I'll check them again in a month. And if they're growing, they will continue their breeding process. Um... Other than that, I'm gonna pull out a female right now that did just do her pre-lay shed and see if we can see some big, big, big puppies in there. So, let's see. We already have two more that are going into their pre-shed also. So, so far it's looking good. Very excited about it. So right here we have a vanilla Mojave bred to a cypress. 
and she's the one that is in her pre-shed. So in 30, well she already shed, in 30 days, we should be having some nice pearly whites. Now let's see what we could pick up here. They still go. Come on, come on. They stay still. Oh yeah, these things are humongous. You can just see on top of each other. Just place. There's another one. And there's two more. I mean, geez, they're just right in that's so cool. All right, I'm gonna let her be, let her go. Don't want to stress her out too much. But yeah, that's one that we'll be expecting in 27 more days to lay. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is bring, well, I'm gonna spray them down a little bit, bring up the humidity up, um, and bring in some males for all those three girls. So, wish me luck on that, guys, and yeah, give me one second. Just gonna grab a few males. Oh, we have our dates right here, which should be laying. We got this one, waiting for her to shed, 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 waiting for her to shed. And the list goes on. Can't wait to see these girls, man. This is gonna be a good one. This is gonna be a good one. Actually, all of them are going to be a good one. So, cool. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Um, I did, and it was probably a little boring to you guys. That's not my new um, mic, but yeah. So again, the rattlesnake's here. The gecko's gone. Uh, my next vlog, I will be grabbing all my mean snakes. So most likely, I'm probably going to get bit a good 10, 8 times, but it's only going to be worth it. And that's where I will be announcing the winner for the pastel pie. So I am redoing it over, um, no ifs or buts, time, it's already been two weeks, so we will have a new winner on the next vlog, so make sure you guys stay tuned, and the comments are still going to go from that vlog, from that vlog that was posted, with the JKR unboxing, that's where all the comments are going to be at, and that's where we're going to redo the, um, the random comment picker, so good luck to all of you guys, and I hope you guys enjoy this, again, love you guys, appreciate everything you guys do, bye!